Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to try to keep this quick and to the point because the name of the game is Gesture Drawing again. If you would like to follow along, I won't be screen sharing the website itself as I'm drawing because I want to show you guys the Photoshop window I have open. So if you would like to follow along, I'm using quickposes.com. I'm doing animals. We're switching to 90 seconds because I had way too much time at 120, but I'm not quite ready for 60 seconds. I'm keeping it at 10 images because again, the idea is to make this a quick warm up, loose, just getting out of your head and putting it on paper. If I get down to 60 seconds or even 45 seconds, that's when we might bump up the image number. But for right now, that's too much too much time that's going on I don't want to use. So, animals, 90 seconds, 10 images. I do not want them to show them upside down. That'll be a fun, a new fun challenge when we get there. But pen or pencil, whatever you're using, at the ready. Let's start. I lied, it's not pulling up. Oh, there it goes, okay. We have, what are you? You are a, okay. This is what I did last time, I got two in the details, so we've got kinda a nose going on, his head is the biggest part, we've got an ear back here. He just kinda goes up, that's where it would, Cut off. I think he's a, a porcupine? No? Maybe a hedgehog? No, I don't think he's a hedgehog. They're both. I mean, they're both spiky. This now looks like that's where his head is. That's not what it is. That's an ear. And of course, we have to have. So this really. This comes down, and that's a little darker than I wanted. That's okay. He's got a nose. Oh, okay, it's the bottom part that comes back. The pop top part was like that. The pop tart. <laughs> I could go for a pop tart. That would actually be. That would be good. And the strawberry frosted ones are the best. I will fight you on this. Okay, that was a minute. Yep, that was too long for me to mess around with him. I wasn't understanding that. Okay, we've got a fox. I love it. All right, buddy. You've got great big ears, which is definitely a thing. With animals, I think you have to remember, so this top part, you've got that. The ears come out of. And then you got their, their snouts. And he's got a cute little nose. He is very unimpressed with people. <laughs> Actually, he really just looks like he's... There we go, we got the tail. The legs come down the middle. Got the other leg. Did I go too small? I feel like I went too small. This back leg thing is coming out like this. Got a great big fluffy, fluffy tail. Okay, nope, moving on. We're moving on to a kitty cat. Oops, I clicked eraser mode again. Nope, not right click. I feel like the pen is really awesome. I just have to stop <laughs> clicking it when I don't want to click it. Your head is round. You're a very round thing. You're actually also very round. Here you are. You're a very fluffy kitty. It's just kind of... See all of you. 
And your tail comes down here. have to get it. Whoops, that was not oh, not what I wanted. Oh dear. Oh, now we're erasing things. No, and my time stopped. Okay, you have no face. I'm so sorry. Faceless cat. That's just, you know, ready for a scary film. Okay, we've got the fourth. The foreshortening, these are really the ones. This is probably where I really need this practice. Figuring out. Okay, your forehead is super big. Right? You've got all this all this hair happening. This angle comes over here. This is so terrible, guys. <laughs> this is not good that I'm being so terrible at trying to draw a horse because, while I don't have a lot of horse drawing ambitions, I did plan trying to draw some cool unicorns, which start in reality. I guess technically a unicorn I want to base it off of, though, is not just based on, like, more on that. Okay, you're just, yep, moving on. It changed. I cheated. I took a couple extra seconds. That was really bad. But the unicorn I want to draw is based on a deer. All right. Come here, little chickadee. It's not a chickadee. That's just, it's a bird. <laughs> I don't know what kind you are. It's a little, is this like a little sandpiper? He's very cute. smaller. He's really just a little poof ball. He's got these little wings and then his little, his little body. He is truly just, you are just circles. Oh, I made mama too fat. Okay, I'll fix this. That's where the eye would be. The eye would be. Your head is actually a little more flat. Not be as son of a gun. Okay, changing. Alligator. Okay, as much as I like, I do actually really enjoy them. Let's see, you've got... He is very distracting trying to find what the general shapes are. I feel like what we have going on here is kind of this. So if that's there, this is about here. I feel like this is good. This is super good practice. Oh no, unless I do that. And then it's not as great. <laughs> Critters, but he does have an arm happening there. Why is 
much is Nexo bloated? I didn't know they're next for that. Not bloated. Okay, we did not get far with that at all. Here we go. Got a close up of the cat, so I'm just trying to pick. Each time I see a new one, I'm trying to pick. What are my what are my anchor points? And he is kitty. I like that when cats have their eyes closed, like it's a very, it's a very distinct shape, I think. His, his ears in that one. Oh, okay. Oh, we have another cat. Probably because kitties are adorable and as we all know, incredibly popular online. So, try to keep this one really, really loose. We've got, so a circle for your head, triangles for your ears. There we go. He actually does have really big ears for a cat. And then we've got smaller area happening here, and then we are pretty chill it looks like, just trying to line up with where I feel like do that is hold up a reference to whatever you're trying to draw to try to figure out with what are your what are your lines what are the important lines you know you can make your own visual reference points you just have to look for them Oh, that is so distracting with that pattern. Okay, we got a zebra, which looks amazing, but the actual lines that are happening here, which, I mean, I don't even know if this is, this is the best site for this. I like it so far. The pictures haven't been bad. We might try some people here at some point, but, okay, so it really cuts off the only problem if you get a partial picture and it's a creature that I'm not really the lines here are kind of hard there's not a lot visually happening in this photo you've just got really really awkwardly did not care for that picture oh my goodness <gasps> the squirrel is too cute okay look at you you adorable little thing oh I have to be able to draw you that would make me super happy oh it's one of the squirrels he's got these great big ears 
which is part of the cuteness for sure. Okay, wait, your head has to come back a little bit. I brought that ear up too far, okay. You're supposed to realistically with that argument too. I could be spending way too much time on these ears because the individual details are not the goal, but the goal is to find what are the important lines of the photo. And to me, those ears are too stinking cute. He's too stinking cute. Okay, I'm getting too caught up. We've got little He's got his little hand. Now we have another section. And there's that there. And then realistically, that's one section. That's oh no, I ran out of time. I mean bang a tail anyway. He had a very bushy tail. Okay. Let's zoom out and check what we did. No, not in. <laughs> Well, I feel like the squirrel was going somewhere good, and so was this cat face. This is good up here. I'm starting to get a handle on cats, so that's really good. This horse was terrible. Don't look at the horse. <laughs> Same thing with that beginning badger, or no, what was it? It was a, por a porcupine, maybe? No? Hedgehog? I don't know what it was. I wish I would have done better on the fox, but... And this, so when you're picking out your gesture photos, if you're picking them out yourself and you're not using a program like this, this was not great because this photo was cropped. So this really was, the crazy thing is like, that's pretty accurate right there. Like it was the eye and this, I didn't draw on all the stripes for the zebra. And I don't feel like that's great for gesture drawing because the idea is to get the whole dynamic form. Overall, really good practice. I'm happy that I have started this journey. I hope that you will join me and practice it as well, whether you're watching along with me or you go give it a run afterwards. Stay creative, find your hobbies, find what you love, and stay hydrated. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!